Well, finished. You can have them back. Where is the copy? Right here. So small. It's considered slightly unhealthy in my profession to carry stolen state documents as big as that one. Well, I've done my part. I must get this back to the minister before it is missed. $50,000 in cash. Four hundred and fifty on deposit in Switzerland. Now, here is the number of the Swiss account. Open up, is the police. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Any more surprises, Mr. Knox? No more surprises, Colonel. On my word. As a spy. Knox alive for some special reason? Never look away, Mr. Mundy. That's one. Yes, a very special reason. The Miloslav document. It will tell us precisely at what point certain countries are committed to come to the defense of certain other countries. We know Knox got the document. I still think a copy of that document is missing. And the communists figure that Knox knows where it is. Concentrate, Mr. Mundy. That's two. Yes, but the Petrovians don't know that it could even be in prison with Knox. He could be working the same trick he pulled in Romania six months ago. Oh, his gold tooth you told me about. Exactly. Well, if you're right, that leaves you with rather a large problem. Willard Knox is doing 30 years in a communist maximum security prison. Well, there is a solution. All we have to do is to find ourselves an agent who is familiar with prisons. Prisons? Mr. Mondi, you've been had. Well, it's not the first time. You can get yourself another boy, Noah. You're the only man we've got who has a chance. What chance? You've been sniffing banana peels again. I'm a thief, not a magician. It takes months, years to break out of a good pen. Well, we've got no other choice. I can tell you this, Al. The mission is vital. It always is. Sorry, I pass. Do you realize the alternative to taking this assignment? It doesn't matter, Noah. Nothing but nothing can get me on that airplane. You lose your mansion, your cars, your girls. You go back to prison, your parole canceled. And then we'll turn on the heat.
Leonard Knox's last known visitor was his attorney appointed by the state. The attorney's name is Ilyan Boslav. Now, when you get to Knox, remember, his last known contact phrase was, happy days are here again. A groovy. Do I hum it or say it? His response will be Mother Goose. Mother Goose. Now, if you get that far, you'll know you found your man. And he'll know it's safe to pass you the microfilm. What's my cover while I'm visiting Petrovia? We've run into a snag about that. I'm afraid we've had to arrange for secondary transportation across the border. Secondary transportation? We've just passed into Petrovia. In a few minutes, you'll be on your own. How do you expect to put this thing down without attracting attention? We don't. Thanks a lot, pal. Welcome. Welcome to the People's Progressive Penal Institute. I am Pavel Jilka, the prison director. We are honored to be here, sir. Allow me to present you to my wife. Mother Marco. My executive secretary, Comrade Anya Selina. Comrade Selina? Comrade Jilka. Well, now that you are here, I hope you will all enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, I will take that at the gate. You will pardon me, won't you? Of course. Thank you very much. Now. How is your headache, my dear? I'll let you know when we are to visit in prisons and farms and factories. Courage, ma petite. In a few hours, we will be on our way to our new home at the embassy in the United States. It will be wonderful, Mr. Ambassador. My dream for you come true. Dear Anya, whatever would I have accomplished all these many years without you by my side, huh? Good morning. Uh, good morning, Colonel Kessler. How is our little American spy today? As you can see. Um... <laughs> Still no mail, eh? In or out? Yes, very interesting. I'd hoped that Mr. Knox would be a little more communicative. However, I'm sure he will come through sooner or later. Yes. In the meantime, keep me informed of any visitors or contacts with the other prisoners. Of course. Oh, Colonel, there was one call. Comrade Boslav, the lawyer appointed by the state to represent Mr. Knox, called this morning to say he would be paying his client a visit. Yes. Thank you for your report. Good morning. Dietrich. Sir. Ilyan Boslav. I seem to remember processing travel papers for him. Yes, Colonel. An urgent matter of state. He was to have left yesterday. Verify his departure. Immediately. Yes, sir. As you can see, our inmates are learning trades which will enable them to function in society. We are very proud of the work done in this room. Monsieur, hmm? these prisoners, what are their crimes? No, oh, we have all kinds, madame. In this room, we have thieves, arsonists, embezzlers. We even have an American spy. American spy? How fascinating. Which one is he? <laughs> right over there. Come, Ambassador, I'm going to show you something very interesting. Come with me, please. Sir. Hello. Huh? Oh, hello. <laughs> Your things are lovely. Oh, thank you. If, if you see anything you like, uh, just holler. My prices are marked way down today. <laughs> well, thank you, but I've got so much jewelry, I don't know what to do with all of it. 
Well, that makes you an unusual lady. You, uh, you don't sound native. Well, in French, but uh, I haven't seen much of France lately. Well, don't feel badly. I don't see too much of home either. <laughs> mm. You're an American. We are leaving for America today. Oh. Oh, oh is that a fact? Uh, well, uh, say hello to everyone for me. I will. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Miss, uh, would you do me a favor? If I can. I was admiring your ring. I don't think I've ever seen another one quite like it. Well, it's an original, a family heirloom. Hmm, is that a fact? Uh, I'd like to try my hand at something like that someday. Uh, uh, would you mind, uh, would you mind terribly if uh, I sketch it? Uh, let me have to leave. Oh, it won't take long. It would mean a lot to me. All right. Boslav. Good. Is he still in the city? He arrived at our embassy this morning. In Warsaw. Warsaw? Order my car. At once. Take it. Out. Security here, boss love. You've forgotten to sign in. Ah, yes. Even though we may know you on site here, Boss Loff, it is required that we compare signatures. Compare signatures? Hmm, it's with a sample of the signature we keep on file. Oh, all security measures seem a great nuisance until they are violated. Then it can be quite exciting. A sign in. Yeah, boss love. Certainly. Would you mind? Allow me. Miss, I think I can get along without this now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I haven't put in the finishing touches yet. Madame, your host would like you to see the entire shop. You see the entire shop for me, Anya. This man is uh, sketching my ring. Madame, I hesitate to remind you of your responsibilities. Anya, you never hesitate to remind me of my responsibilities. My days are a constant stream of responsibilities. As executive secretary to the ambassador, it is my function to remind members of the party on correct protocol. Perhaps there is another member of the party deserving a little bit of your attention. Huh? Yes, madam.
go, my dear. I wonder what became of Anya. I don't know. Would you let me see it? We've got oh. to go. It's a little rushed. It's wonderful. Promise me uh, you'll wear that ring in Washington. I know it'll be a big hit. I will. Thank you. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Comrade Vaslo. Comrade Vaslo. I don't think you have met our distinguished guests, Ambassador Marku, his lovely wife. I should like you to meet Ilyan Boslov, our state defender of the people. Exquisite. Mm -hmm. A pleasure, Comrade Boslov. Perhaps we will meet again. I hope so. Goodbye. Goodbye. Happy days are here again, Mr. Knox. You're kidding. Who are you? Wrong. Mother Goose. Beautiful. Alexander Mundy, at your service. You have gotta be straight in from Washington. Nobody uses that password stuff out in the field. I'm a company man, I work strictly by the book. So, uh, uh, I've, uh, decided I like it here, Counselor, and decided to stop appealing the case. Ah, uh, uh, yes. I gather you came for the microfilm. Then you do have it. I did have it. I didn't think anybody had a chance of getting to me in this, uh, brick garden, so I smuggled it out. Terrific. All of this for nothing. I, I wouldn't say that. I made a sketch that could lead you right to it. I'll lay it on me and I'll be on my way. I said, could lead you to it. Meaning? Meaning here we are talking like old pals and in a minute you're gonna walk out of here free as a bird. Seven years in the service and they didn't even send me a Christmas card. Well, I'll send you some dried fruit the minute I hit the street. Mm -hmm. Sure does make you think. Well, stop thinking, Knox. Forget it. We wouldn't have a chance. I'm sure you're right. But when they get tired looking for that microfilm, they're gonna kill me anyhow. So what have I got to lose? Then you've got a plan. We can force a guard to take us out of the shop. What then? Then we win. Fabulous idea. No deal. You want the microfilm? Take me with you. If we get caught, you better pray we're not in the same cell. Move out into the aisle. If we get caught, we won't be needing cells. I need a consultation room for my client. By orders of the director, lead the way. Prisoner to a consultation room with his attorney. Director's orders. All right. Man. This is an unexpected pleasure, Colonel. Where is the American? In the craft shop with his attorney, Ilyan Boslov. Ilyan Boslov is in Warsaw. Easy, man. The costume is ready. That was Kessler, state security police. We'll never make it. Don't get uptight. He didn't see us. 
Looks more like a fort than a prison. It was a fort. This half of the building now serves as an arsenal for the guards and the road gang demolition crews. Catch? No, thanks. I work alone. Let's go. What do you want, Jim? Just evening up the odds. Crack open a box of that dynamite and get me some detonator caps, will you? Well, I gotta find something. telling me what we're going to connect this dynamite to. The security alarm. Oh, a man after my own heart. The American prisoner, where is he? Uh, he? He was taken out for a consultation with his lawyers. By whose orders? By your orders, sir. Petrovia's ambassador to the States. You, you shouldn't have him too. Knox! Knox! You do unusual things, Alvin. Quite stimulating. Thank you. I never met a man so gentle. A man should be as gentle as the occasion requires. Hello. Hello, Chief. Popcorn. Pigeons out of your mind long enough, you can give some thought to this assignment. 
I know how important it is, sir. I'm ready to go. With or without your popcorn? Well, it's full of vitamins, Noah. There's only one problem. I don't plan on getting caught, but if they do catch me coming out of the embassy, you're going to be left with a lot of egg on your face. It'll never touch us. They'll think you're an overly ambitious jewel thief with a long prison record. Still, it'd be better all around if you weren't caught. The thought has occurred to me. Think you can do it? I can lift the ring in my sleep. It'll even be easier if I can get to the ambassador's teeny bopper wife while she's sleeping. One foot inside that embassy, Al, and you're in a foreign country. If you get caught in that lady's bedroom, don't count on a lengthy trial. Nikolai, hmm. I wish to reconsider. If just once we could be alone, huh? If we could go to the cinema, hmm? it would be wonderful. It'd be something different. Please, Nikolai, for me. Now, Trish, don't be foolish. You know, I must attend a reception given in my honor. Excellency, your car is ready. Thank you, Anya. Is Madame not going to attend the ambassador's reception? No, Madame is not going to attend the ambassador's reception. Trish. I'm sorry, madame. I only meant to inquire should there be calls later in the evening. Trish, I am surprised at you. Anya has a great responsibility in attending to our official affairs. Your tone was uncalled for. You should apologize. I will not apologize. Very well. Then I will apologize. Anya... It isn't necessary, Excellency. I understand. She understands, but I do not. Why do you insist on behaving this way in front of Anya? You force her to think of you in the most uncomplimentary terms. I don't care what she... Trish, you do behave like a child. You refuse to go to state functions or perform the duties of a woman of your station. Twenty years that woman has lived by your side. Do you think she was delighted to have you marry me? Trish. Trish, when you are older, you will recognize the difference between loyalty and love. Nikolai, if ever I was that loyal to another man, you would soon see the difference. That window up there is Madame Marcoux's bedroom. All right. Stay put. You can see the driveway and the window from here. If the ambassador returns or anything else unusual grabs your attention, pass the word to our troops aloft. Who's that? Me. Do you think you could scale that lattice work over there if you had to? Want to race? Physical sports later. You keep in touch. Return to the embassy at once. It's an emergency. Comrade Selina, alert security. There is an intruder on the grounds.
Anya, what is it? Madame has a late gentleman caller. I don't believe it. I will see for myself. Wait here. that you are wrong. And if you are, you realize the consequences of this accusation. Trish? Nikolai? What? You have been sleeping. Well, of course I've been sleeping. It's so early. Are you back from the reception already? You have been alone all evening? Well, who would I be with? Nikolai, what's the matter? Anya, I ask you to wait outside. Excellency, have you searched the room? The closet? The bathroom? What is she saying? What are you accusing me? Of oh, nothing, my darling. I'm sorry to have awakened. But there are rumors of a prowler on the grounds. Well, what would he be doing here? He has to be someplace, my dear. 
Anya, please, step outside. Excellency, I insist that you search the room. Anya, this is my wife. I will not further this outrageous intrusion by permitting a search. Excellency, if you don't search the room, you are a fool! Anya! That will be all. more than this than you're telling me. What has Anna told you? If it would make you feel better, go and search. I'll even help you. <laughs> there will be some changes made tomorrow. Changes that will please you. I have been wrong. You seem bent on making this one assignment some sort of job security. Now, maybe busting in and out of maximum security installations gives you kicks, but it isn't getting us the microfilm. It's as good as in our hands, right now. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Fresh State Plumbing. This is the Petrovian Embassy. Would you please send a plumber over as soon as possible? We'll get a man out this afternoon. Tri-State Plumbing. Seven three seven two zero nine five. Seven three seven two zero nine five. Tri-State Plumbing. Good afternoon. This is the Petrovian Embassy. Please cancel our, our service call. The, this order has been adjusted. All right, thank you for calling. Al, after last night, that embassy is going to be a hot spot. Nobody's going to be able to get in or out without a security check. Don't worry. When the chips are down, just send in Alexander the Great. Alexander who? Hasn't the Petrovian chief of internal security come a long way over just a little prowler? Madame Marco, my hurried departure from Petrovia was motivated by you. Explain yourself, Colonel. You recall your visit to the People's Penal Institute. I have reason to believe an American agent may have attempted to use Madame Marco to transport stolen state secrets. Colonel, the whole idea is absurd. May I examine your cameo ring, Madame? But he's a Trish. Give him the ring. Nikolai, the prowler last night. I didn't take it seriously or I would have told you. And my ring is missing. Our intruder took refuge in here. But why? If you say this man came in and left through the bedroom window, would he have come in here? You came home unexpectedly. The embassy grounds were covered by guards and alert. There was no other place to go. Oh, use the other sink. That one is clogged. Must be something stuck in the trap. How long has this sink been out of order? Since this morning. I reported it. The plumber's on his way. Put the embassy on alert. Sink, 
get it out. You'll have your precious microfilm, and I'll have my ring. Recovering the microfilm isn't quite enough, madame. I must be able to prove the Americans are responsible for its theft. That they violated this embassy. Tri-state plumbing. You plug them, we slug them. Good afternoon. I trust that you have no weapons in those bags. Oh, hey, come on, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, if you want to get yourself another boy like I mean, you know, I'll pop for the dime, but uh, guns aren't my scene, baby. No know? offense. The embassy has been the victim of burglars. Security is my job. Oh. That small tail. Oh, that? Well, that's, uh, that's for getting things out of small places, you know, baby? I mean, uh, uh, I wouldn't be any good without it, you know? I see. I think you'll find the bathroom sink needs some attention. Oh, cuckoo. Sink's in my bag. I'll be... I'll get... You are under arrest. Search him. We are mistaken. Take him to the X-ray machine in the basement. Oh, come on, baby. Honest, really, this is... Take him! We are not mistaken. I was sure. We cannot hold the young man any longer. It is already officially embarrassing. I know it is there somewhere. Hey, listen, man. I've had it with this plain doctor thing. That cat's x-rayed everything I've got except my back teeth. Now, if I don't get out to Arlington to unplug Mrs. Hellman's drain, it's going to be a bad scene. You know what I, I mean? I apologize for the inconvenience, young man. You are free to go. Please, put uh, the overtime on the bill. Hmm? Cuckoo, I like your style. See you around. I was not mistaken. The ring and the document were there. The mistake, Colonel, was in ever allowing the microfilm to leave the country in the first place. And for that, I am afraid you must assume all responsibilities and consequences. Evening of discovery. But no surprises. Ah, so here you are. Why didn't you report in? Don't you realize half of Washington is waiting for your report and here you sit? Don't freak out, no. Everything is cool. How'd you know I got back? I knew you were back because for the first time in four years there was no answer at video surveillance. What did you do to them this time, hmm? Oh, no. You are sleeping. You are in a deep, restful sleep. You will not awaken until I count three. You are sleeping. At the count of three, you will all be in need of new jobs. All right, let's get back to business. Have you got the microfilm? Is that what you're up so tight about? Yes, that's what I'm up so tight about. No, not yet. Al, I'm in no mood for jokes. What do you mean, no, not yet? I knew I wouldn't be able to walk out of that embassy with the ring, so I took on an occasional partner. A partner? He should have showed up by now. Coming. Where have you been? Huh? A carrier pigeon. You entrusted the Miloslav document to a carrier pigeon. 
A bird. Well, not just uh, a bird. Alexander the Great. I named him myself. <laughs> Obviously. Were you planning to work with him in the future? Now and then. Why? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking of the expense. What expense? Well, you know I have a crew working round the clock keeping you under constant surveillance. So? So now I'm going to have to find a trustworthy uh, and reasonably loyal pussycat. You made a little joke. <laughs> well, 